Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to download an Aether data pack on your server. When you get into your world, you'll see this message stating that you have to re-log into your world again just to make sure everything loads in properly. Once you've done that, you can see that you have two books. The second one will be of use as it tells you everything you need to know to get started. As the book states, to get into the Aether dimension, you'll have to craft a portal with glowstone, just like this. After, right click with the water bucket to activate it and you can head in. When this screen pops up, simply wait a few minutes for everything to load. When the terrain is finished loading, you can explore the brand new dimension as you wish. As you can see, the Aether is incredibly beautiful. Moving on, to craft new items, you'll need a Skyroot crafting table. You can acquire one by placing down a normal crafting table in the Aether. There are many items you can craft in this data pack, you'll have plenty of content to play with. To craft most of the items, you'll need the custom resources added in the data pack. This means you'll have to explore the Aether for ores, food and blocks. Some foods you can find are blueberries, oranges, white apples, gingerbread men, candy corn and much more. You can also get different armor sets with matching tools. Let's not forget the amount of new custom mobs. And if you thought that was it, nope. There are also custom structures all over the dimension that you can explore, some even having new bosses to defeat. Now you're probably wondering how you too can get these items and explore the Aether. Well, I'll be showing you how to download and set up this data pack in the next segment, so stay tuned. Firstly, you can use the link in the description to get to the official download page. Scroll down and press this blue button. Click continue and when you arrive at this page, press the arrow at the top. And when this pops up, press download anyway. Rest assured we have tested out these files and they don't harm your computer so it's completely safe to have these downloaded. To make the next step easier, we recommend you move this zip to a place where you can easily access, for example your desktop. Afterwards, extract the zip to get both the data pack zip and the resource pack zip. Now you're all set up to upload the data pack onto your server. For this step, you're going to have to go to the server.pro website and access your server control panel from there. At the dashboard, make sure that the server version matches the data pack version to ensure no complications. As of now, the website states it's for 1.18, but this may change in the future so please check before continuing. Before proceeding to the next step, quickly confirm that the server is offline. Firstly, I'll be showing you how to upload the data pack onto a world you've already created. This data pack doesn't require you to make a new world, but if you're also interested in that, I'll be showing you how to create a brand new world with the data pack enabled after. What you're going to do first is head to the files tab. Click on the world folder and then the data packs folder. Here is where you're going to drag the Aether data pack zip you downloaded at the beginning of the video. And that's it, the data pack is uploaded onto your world. However, if you're interested in creating a brand new world with the data pack enabled, you're going to want to head to the worlds tab. Here is where you're going to create a brand new world. You can set your world name and adjust world settings as usual. Just make sure the world name doesn't have spaces or special characters. However, below you'll also see a button labeled Upload Data Packs. Simply click the Select Files button and then navigate to the area where you saved the Aether Data Pack Zip 2. Once you've found it, press Open and then Create World. It'll take a couple seconds for the files to upload, but when that's done, you should go into the Files tab. Double click on your world folder and then go into the Data Packs folder. If you see the Aether Data Pack Zip inside, it means you have followed these steps correctly. Now that the data pack is uploaded onto the server, you'll have to make sure the required resource pack is also installed. To do that, you'll want to head back to the Files tab. Then open up the server.properties file and look for the lines saying Resource Pack. After the equals, you want to right click and paste the link to the required resource pack. We ourselves have uploaded that file to our Dropbox, so if you'd like, you can use our link. It'll be in the description. Alternatively though, you can upload the resource pack to any website that supports creations of hot links, and put your own link into the server.properties file after. Before continuing, make sure to press save file to confirm the changes, and then all you have to do is log into your server to experience the new additions. You can do this by heading to the dashboard and copying the host name. Afterwards, quickly launch your Minecraft application and when it's open, head to the multiplayer section. Click add server and in the server address section, paste the host name. Now when you join the server, you'll be able to experience this new dimension with your friends. 
Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from my channel. Thank you for watching.